All right, geeks, we're doing some great giveaways on the channel, so stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll tell you what to do and how you can win. All right, geeks, they have arrived on the scene. We've got Captain America and the star we've been waiting for, Peggy Carter, in the flesh, or the plastic flesh. Uh, man, been waiting on this. Amazon shipped it early. About to rip it open and see what they got going on. Let's go. All right, so looking at the box, um, this is not in an 80-year box. This is more akin to the MCU 10-year boxes, although it doesn't, of course, doesn't have a 10-year on it, but it's along that line. And when you look at the packaging, so we have got Cap here. We have the unpainted, unfinished shield, a machine gun, a knife, and you know, Captain America was really violent in World War II. <laughs> got his uh, goggle helmet. And his shield, the same shield that's in the Cap motorcycle set, except this shield is battle damaged and dirty and covered in mud. Then you've got Agent Carter herself. Man, I can't believe they canceled that TV show. I love that show. Uh, I hope that they do something with her on the Disney Network. Or, yeah, Dis yeah, Disney Plus or whatever. Yeah, I hope so. All right, Captain America, driven to help out his country during World War II. Steve Rogers enlists in the military as part of Project Rebirth. After he impresses the scientists in charge of the project, Steve is injected with Super Soldier Serum, increasing his strength and physique. That's kind of an oversimplification, but okay. He becomes the patriotic hero Captain America, fighting for freedom throughout the world. And Peggy Carter, a British agent with the Strategic Science Reserve, Peggy Carter is a capable soldier and strategist. She is part of Project Rebirth which developed the Super Soldier Serum that was injected into Steve Rogers. When Project Rebirth ends, Peggy continues to assist Steve as he becomes the world's first superhero, Captain America. Woot woot! All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's go. I'm excited. I love when Amazon ships stuff early. When you're waiting and waiting and all of a sudden you get that message, oh, hey, we decided to ship this early. The first message said that they were going to ship it and it would arrive on Sunday. And then I got a notification this morning that it was arriving on Saturday. So they updated twice in two days. So if you order this, be on the lookout in your mailbox. All right. All right, so let's slide this out here. Oh, man. Close up look here. Ooh. All right, so that's definitely <laughs> the MCU. That's Chris Evans in his full glory. I'm trying to look, get a close up look at what the difference is between the two faces. Um, this looks like the same body as the cap they released on the motorcycle. Well, according to Hasbro, it's not released yet, but it looks like the same body, just different paint. And I'll compare them at the end of the video. But man, look at Peggy Carter. That likeness. Okay, anyway, let me go out and pack it. Sorry. Let's get caught up. Yay, more posing backgrounds. Nice. All right, so we got them out of the box. This is basically the same cap that was released uh, last week, or officially will be released next week. Um, the World War II cap with the motorcycle. It's just a repaint. Got the same parachute pants, same holster, same sheath of the knife on the ankle, same harness, same figure, just different head sculpt. 
So I'm not gonna really go through this too much. Um, just show you the back, how he looks. Close up on the head. I'm not gonna go through articulation and all that because I'm sure you're familiar with this figure. Does look like Chris Evans. Face is a little bit skinny though. It'll do. All right, so the real reason that I and most people probably are excited about this pack is Peggy Carter. So she looked gorgeous in the promo shots and even on the box and even in the box. But now that I have her out, her face looks a little scrunched up. And the face sculpt looks very similar to MJ from the Homecoming set that came out a couple months ago. So I'm gonna do a comparison between those two. Um, kind of disappointed because the paint job is really sloppy. If you look around, along her neck, there is bleed over onto the uniform from the shirt. Uh, I don't know, I'm just not too happy with it. The skirt is rubber and the jacket and skirt are connected. They're one piece. Her legs should be able to bend, but the skirt kind of gets caught in there, so you gotta be careful with that. She and Steve Rogers can dance. She can run into battle. Man, if you haven't watched Agent Carter, watch Agent Carter, because man, she is a bad A. I love her. I wish she had gotten, well, I know she wouldn't get her own movie, but I wish she'd been in some more movies. Maybe they can fix that with the Disney Plus. Uh, elbows. They don't bend all the way up. Actually, let's put her dukes up. <laughs> uh, can we go there? Oh, look at that. All right. She can do the chicken dance. Not bad. Uh, still disappointed with the head sculpt and the paint job. Hit the swivels all the way around. She can do the exorcist. <laughs> oh man. It's good to have a Peggy Carter figure, but man, I wish they had done a little bit better job on her head sculpt and the paint job. But she's nice. If you didn't see with uh, Captain America, the motorcycle set, this holster does open up. You can put his La Pistola in there. Still odd for me to see Captain America with guns. And here is the chief with his knife. Jab some Nazis. See how he looks in his helmet. <laughs> oh, so funky fit. Oh boy. Uh, I guess that's kind of how he looked in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's got a large cranium there. I uh, oh, that neck. What is it with these necks lately? Necks are long. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of the other figure here. Makes sense to Captain America. See how that other head looks on him. All right, there we go. Ah, actually, I like that head sculpt better. Might be the hair. Yeah, this one looks kind of preppy, I guess. I like this a little bit better. See if this helmet fits better. Yeah, it actually does. Okay. It's probably the head sculpt I'll go with. Now the helmet on the motorcycle cap, the goggles are actually on and they're part of the head. So you can swap those heads around and play with them if you like. Got a nice automatic rifle here. Agent Carter can put that to good use. Alright, let's compare the two caps. 
All right, so here's the shield that came with this set, and here is the shield that came with the motorcycle set. I didn't even catch that. There are different paint jobs on the shield. One has the three stars, as you can see, and one has the multiple stars. Okay, I need to look back. Oh, that's right. Comic book and movie. Duh. All right. So, same shield mold, but different paint job. That's good. All right, so okay. let's put this helmet on here. See, oh Lord, that is a bad fit. <laughs> oh my gosh, he looks insane. All right, there we go, that's a little bit better. And that does not clip. It's funny, it looks broken, like it was attached, but I don't think it would be attaching if it would get on his head. And you look back at the promo materials. There we go, Captain America. Choose me, Peggy. Choose me, Peggy. Choose me. I'm not choosing either of you fellas. I'm taking my gun and going to the club. <laughs> All right, everybody. There you have it. Captain America, Peggy Carter. First Avenger MCU set. You can decide whether you want to get it or not. If you're a completionist, you got to get it. But like I said, not that impressive. If you have the Captain America motorcycle set that just came out, you've got this Captain America, just the paint swap. And Peggy Carter, like I said, is the only way you're going to get her. Uh, she's not that impressive, but what can you do? All right. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Check the end of this video so you can see the giveaways we're doing and how you can win. This is Fanboy Destroyer. Geek Hangover, Geek Out. All right, Geeks, so at 150 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away a Blink and Wonder Man figure. And then at 250 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away Jubilee and Scorpion. Then at 350, we're gonna give away the Ever Elusive Beast figure along with a Weapon X. All you gotta do to be eligible to win is subscribe to our channel, Turn on notifications and then go to our Instagram page, look for the post about these giveaways and then repost them on your Instagram page. When you've done all that, come back to YouTube and comment on any of our videos, giveaway complete and then you'll be eligible to win. We're going to be giving away some gadgets too in the near future, so keep a lookout because you're going to have to come back and do something a little bit different. Alright geeks, good luck.